Bobcat. It does have a uh, Wisconsin two-cylinder gas motor in it. Hey, the little dude does what you ask it to do. It goes left, goes right, forward, back. If you got little bitty jobs, this would be okay. But it, it's no cream puff, guys. She's getting tired. I mean, everything seems to work on it now. You can see the cutting edge is showing some wear. It does have skid steer quick attach on it. It is hand controls on the drive and foot controls on the hydraulics. The hydraulics seem really, really good. Uh, little thing runs good. There's no parking brake on it, so when you get in it, you really don't want to get in it running. Okay, if you're in it, be in it. Shut it off before you get out. 4,475 hours showing on the pack. Got the original serial number. These are good little units. It's not a fast unit. You know, you heard it. It, it seems to run all right. I let it sit there and warm up. It's been running for about an hour. Until I finally got to it, so. Just a very straight original gas skid steer loader and the foot controls. Let me race it all the way up. I didn't do that. on it. You're going to buy our absolute track your house auction. Just don't expect a new skid steer loader because the bucket's pretty loose on the frame. Like I say, 4,700 hours I'd say is uh, every bit correct. I mean, that's a few hours on a skid steer, but uh, it'll go out and do some small jobs. You hear it sitting there running. The hydraulics are very responsive. Um, goes left, goes right. I think these were maybe a belt drive type unit. The way they go, you see, when you push them and pull them, you got to do it. It's kind of a, it's kind of a how much force you put on it. That's how quickly it'll turn. Okay. If you're about absolute tractor house auctions, you're buying what you see there. Just don't expect a new one, please.